video is made to help you understand what to do when you run out of electrons. And just for purposes of helping you focus, I'm putting the shade up so you can see just the one line that we're working on. This is for oxygen. Oxygen has two atoms, and we are going to have to join those with a stick. The stick is two electrons. We call those the bonding electrons. The next thing we have to do is the numbers. We have to figure the valence electrons. So oxygen has a subscript of two, so that's two oxygen times whatever column oxygen is in, which tells us the valence electrons. And the valence electrons for oxygen are six, because it's in column six. So that makes a total of 12. Now, I've already used two of those 12, and that's what this minus is all about, and that leaves me 10. Now, I only have 10 electrons to satisfy my two different rules. Those rules are, first, everybody has to have eight electrons except hydrogen. It only needs two. Beryllium only needs four. Boron only needs six. Well, there's no exceptions in this molecule. So the total electrons has to be correct. And that's the two rules that we have to satisfy to have a correct Lewis structure. So, we're going to go ahead and put in the 10 that we just figured out. And now we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That gives the oxygen on the left a total of 8 electrons. And we only have 4 left. So now I've put in a total of 10 on our unshared electrons. And those electrons now are not enough for this oxygen here. There we go. Okay, this oxygen here is short two electrons. He doesn't have eight. He only has two, four, six. So, how are we going to fix that? We can't add more electrons, but we can change where those electrons are. And that's exactly what those four little atoms do. They figure out that they can share more electrons. And in this case, what I'm going to do is get rid of these two electrons and put them into a double bond. When I do that, look what I get. Two, four, six, eight for the oxygen on the left. And two, four, six, eight for the oxygen on the right. So now I can honestly say that I have checked it. And I like to put a happy face up to say, yes, we are absolutely following the rule. Everybody has eight. The rule number two, down here, the total electrons have to be correct. What are the total electrons? Well, they're right here. Twelve. So do I have twelve? Two, four, six, eight, and twelve. And that is correct, so I can put another happy face. So that's my first example of the use of a double bond. Now let's do nitrogen. We have to do it the same way. We're going to give nitrogen one pair of electrons. Then we have to go ahead and figure out what are the numbers for nitrogen. And let's do that in red. So nitrogen. Subscript is 2, so that's 2 nitrogens. The nitrogens are in column 5, so we have a total of 10 electrons. No way can we give both nitrogens uh, a total of 8 electrons. So we have to do heavy-duty sharing here. Well, let's, let's see how the numbers work out. Let's pass out numbers. Well, first of all, we take out the bonding electron, and we're going to have 8 left. So I have 2, 4, 6, 8. Hmm. Well, now I'm in trouble, aren't I? Nitrogen on the left is short 4 electrons. But the nitrogen on the right can actually do some sharing. So we're going to make him share those 2 electrons. And then let's get our nitrogen back here. Let's just erase them. So that 
puts the two electrons I just erased are going back as bonding electrons. And we still don't have enough electrons for the guy on the left. The guy on the right's fine. He has a total of two, four, six, eight. But the guy on the left, two, four, six. So if I can persuade our nitrogen here to let go of those two electrons and actually share, that's how we wind up with a triple bond, which, by the way, is the most electrons that we can have in a bond. So there you have it. Uh, let's check the numbers, make sure everything is good. First, first rule was that we have to be able to have eight electrons for everyone, and we do. So the nitrogen on the left is two, four, six, eight, and the nitrogen on the right here is two, four, six, eight. And we're good on that rule. So we can put a smiley face there. And on rule two, total electrons have to be equal to 10. So do I have it? Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And we're good. And now you see the role of double and triple.